Now, someone had a question on one of my comments relating to bugs because a recent report says insects are the future of food. Bugs for dinner? Eating insects? They want us to all eat bugs by 2050 because of the rise of population will be roughly about maybe 9 billion people on this planet. So how are we going to feed them? I mean, everyone knows this fact because the climate change and beef is not sustainable. We need to find other sources of food. I like to say my life's mission is to breed a bug that tastes like bacon. And yes, they even say the grass fed regenerative farming type agriculture needs to go because of all the cow burping and the methane and what that does to the environment because that's the big problem. And one of the big solutions would be the bugs because they're so high in protein and they're so nutrient dense. Well, let's do a little breakdown of this topic because if we take a hundred grams of these bugs. In this 100 grams, we have about 12 grams of actual protein. And there's about five grams of fat, five grams of carbs, a little iron, a little tiny bit of fat. But is 12 grams enough for our bodies? Uh, actually, no. If we do the math and look at the actual number of crickets that we're gonna have to eat to get close to this protein, we're gonna have to 4X that. That's a nice big bucket of crickets. But for a lot of people, they're gonna need to eight times that figure every single day to get their protein amount. I guess we can uh, mash them up and put them into pizzas and with all these other different flavorings, we can put them in burgers, sweeten them, and that might be a solution. But what about the cost? Uh, it's gonna be quite expensive, right? But they can bring the cost down by feeding the crickets you know, cheaper materials like maybe corn, soy, beet sugar, something like that. The problem with that is the nutrition comes down, you know, and then the protein level comes down and that's one little issue. Quite expensive to have healthy insects to eat, okay? Number two, we're gonna have to get everyone to give up their traditional cultural foods and that might take some work. I think that the first bite is the hardest and then after that people go, wow, they both taste pretty good. Oh, the crunch. Mm. Number three, and this is probably the biggest one. When you compare an insect with beef, it's not the same. For anyone to say that it's identical, they're lying through their teeth, it's not even close. And I'm not just talking about the protein. I'm talking about the quality of protein. I'm talking about the nutrition, all these other factors that is in beef that is not in crickets. So don't buy into the, it's the same thing. Number four, insects carry pathogens. So there's one study in 2019 that evaluated uh, quite a few cricket farms that were developing edible crickets, and 81% of them had parasites. 30% were potentially pathogenic. There's also a higher incidence of worms in crickets and viruses and bacteria and funguses. Then we have the safety studies, right? We have to do all that. Then we're gonna have to probably heat and cook these insects to kill off the microbes but then we're also gonna kill off a lot of the nutrition as well. There's this unregulated field of using pesticides on these insects. So you can use different chemicals to kind of manage uh, some of these other um, factors that are can be growing in these uh, bugs. Then the next thing is that if someone has an allergy to shellfish, okay, because there's a similar protein involved, chances are they'll also have an allergy to bugs if they start consuming them. And then the next factor is that these bugs have this exoskeleton. It's like bones outside their body. And the main compound in there is called chitin. It's an anti-nutrient. It's uh, not digested by our microbiome. And it also blocks vitamin A and vitamin E. And so this is just another negative. And so now we're doing another human pilot experiment that will put people on bugs and then see what happens after years. My viewpoint on the future of food being bugs does not look like it's gonna happen. There are too many negative points about this. Now, if you wanna know what I think you should be eating right now to regain your health and be super healthy, I think it's probably the most healthy food that you can eat. It's right here, check it out.